this computer. All right, so we are now recording. All right, so these are the basic materials here. Like I said, you have a bunch of filigree that I kind of keep off to the side here too, so, so it's not in the way, but. Um, so we're gonna start with the base and I've already wired on one of these, um, these branches, but what I like to do is have I'm going to hold it this way because this is the way I'm going to wire it on. The bottoms, there's two little holes down here at the bottoms, and these are what are going to be on the tiara. You might need to bend it oh, just a tad bit to make it shape to the tiara base, but you're going to bend it and then you're going to put this on the front of the branch like this. And how I'm going to start is grab a piece of wire. I, I, I gave you a pretty long piece of wire so you could cut it in half because you're just going to need half of it to start with. And what I, what I do is I start with the piece and I'm going to wrap around about four times so that you have a st stable base to start with. And then I'm going to- And we're it, doing this wrap right at the center? Yeah, yeah, you can start on either side. You could start in the middle or the center, but I start in the center because it's gonna be hidden by the moon that is created. So if you, you're, you're gonna have a little bit of a wrap, but you wanna try and hide it as much on these sides so that you don't see it because we're not covering that with anything. We're just gonna cover the center with the moon. So I'm gonna put it through the hole. And I'm doing this upside down, so I'm sorry if it seems a little bit <laughs> shaky. And then what I do is I'm just going to wrap it around the outside of it. I'm not going to keep going through the hole, but I'm going to tightly wrap it around the end of the branch so that it stays on there. And then you can wrap it through this second hole if you like to make it a little bit more um, sturdy, but you don't have to. Just, I would just do it once and then go to the end and do the same thing. You're going to go through the hole. Oops. And then wrap it three or four times. Sarah, should we yeah. cut the? Should we cut it once we wrap it around? Um, you um, want to keep the long piece that goes to, to just wrap red branch. You you don't want to cut it ev through every hole. Is that what you're asking? Okay. Yes. Okay. Very good. And then just like we started it, we want to wrap it around the base three or four times to make it sturdy. And then we would cut it off. So there you have a branch on there. There's a little bit of a space between because that's where we're going to put our leaf. So we want to make sure that we've got enough or whatever piece you have here so that we have enough right here. But this also has to be the right width so that you can stick the moon between the two branches. My fingers are in the way, I know, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> there you go. But you want them kind of uh, mirroring each other on the piece itself. Can you see that? <clears throat> Move my stuff out of the way here. Does that make sense? Can you hold the edges where you have it, um, like the branch, just a little bit closer to the camera? Yeah, let me see if I can get it to focus. Okay. okay. Sorry, my OCD is kicking in as I'm doing this, so I'm struggling just a little bit. <laughs> yeah, no problem. There you go. Is that see, I, I've wrapped it around, and then I've wrapped it around the end too. My camera does not like this. There you go. Oh, come on, focus, focus. I need a white piece of paper would help. There. Okay. 
And of course, we're wrapping both of them on there. So we should have enough for that. I love these branches. I got these originally, they had come in silver as well. There's a half finished one here. Um, oops. Ooh. They have the silver ones. I, I found these originally on Wish um, and it was a necklace. And so I took it apart and used them. And then I, I was I was like, I, I've got to get a bunch of these because they're just too cool. Um, and so I got on Etsy and there's a seller who sells uh, packs of 10 for about four dollars <laughs> so yeah so they're great they're a great supply and the first one I made of these um, I tried to add a whole bunch of branches but I think they work just as fine if you just do two or three um, because of the focus of the branch um, but yeah I had like seven or eight of them and then I, I was kind of precious to me <laughs> I took them down and then moved them just to the two uh, for this look. And then these moons, which we'll get to, um, I got these on Amazon, but they come in all sorts of different um, metals. So like like with this one, there's a silver moon that I have that would fit right in there over the top. Um, so you could pretty much do this in most colors of metal. The headbands I'll also get on Amazon and they come in um, black, silver, gold mostly, but you can get them in packs of 10 or 20 or more, depending on what you look, we're looking for. But I, I find these are good, just easy to work with. Um, and you can kind of bend them or whatever shape you need to have them so that you actually just have a really simple base. But earlier tiaras, I kind of used metal and bent it metal to make the shape of the base as well, which is another option if you didn't want to buy a bunch of tiaras. But they do have a flat like this kind of metal that you could use for a base as well. The nice thing about this metal is it is bendable, so you can kind of shape it to your size of the head, your shape of the head that you have um, a little easier than say these, because they try and stay in the same position. Oh, did you put a tiara on, Megan? You did. <laughs> I, I see it now. <laughs> mm. You're still muted. <laughs> no. I keep doing that. I keep muting myself so that nobody has to listen to me. But um, yeah, no, I felt very um, incomplete being in a tiara workshop without having a tiara on. <laughs> this was one of the several that I... Uh, went through nice. yesterday during my fun headgear Friday. <laughs> <laughs> yes, here, I'll, I'll, I just finished this one, so I'll put this one, there you go. Make sure Ooh. it's great. I can't, I can't tell on the, there you go. <laughs> oh, that one's really cool. I swear, I don't know how you keep coming up with all these different ideas because you're, they're all so different. Yeah. They are. <laughs> well, this one, I, I actually had a, a resin company send me some resin to use in a project. And so I was like, well, I have to come up with a resin project. So this is a, a resin um, piece that's, it's hard to see in the picture. I could, you can kind of see the detail oh my in there. God. So it's a space tiara with resin. So, and it's easy to wear because this one is what do you do with all of these that you make? Um, they are all around here. <laughs> there are over 50 tiaras in this room <laughs> um, that are sitting there. I, I would, if, if I was going to conventions, I'd be selling them at conventions, but 
Um, yeah. I need, I need to start selling them so I don't, I have more space for more tiaras. <laughs> um, I want one or, <laughs> or 10 or 30 of them. <laughs> all right. So how are we all doing on this part? Are we good? Can we move on to the next step? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So once we are wired, like I said, there was a space in the center for, I think so most of you got some kind of piece of filigree that's, this one is just a leaf. I think a lot of it were leaves, but they were just a long slender piece of filigree besides the moon. And this is where the jewel is gonna go on there. So what I tend to do is I'm going to put it in the center. I'm gonna use my pliers and just bend over the end so that it goes around the base and it makes it a little bit more sturdy. And I'm going to stick it right between the two. Because like this, it's going to stay, but it's not gonna be completely on there, but I'm going to try and put it as tight as possible. And then I'm gonna use a little bit of hot glue on the back of this so that it just stays a little bit better. Um, you can put a little hot glue on the front. You're not gonna see it as well. So Sarah, would this be the piece for those of us that didn't get like a leaf? Yeah, yeah, this would be the leaf. Okay, because mine looks put, like a leaf, a moon, and then some stones in that small bag together. Uh, yeah, yeah. And you're really not going to see this piece in the front. Oh, somebody. Okay, there you go. So you're not going to see this piece when it's finished because it's going to be hidden by the gem. Um, but it's definitely going to be just kind of more of a um, like a background piece. You might see a little bit, but it's not going to be like visible to everybody. Like I said, with this one, you can see there's the leaf kind of hidden back there and then the gem is on the top. And even if you have a smaller gem, which some people do, um, it's going to be mostly hidden by the moon. <clears throat> but you just want it sturdy enough so that it doesn't move around. This is, I'm going to put a little bit more glue. And don't burn yourself, please. <laughs> if you're using glue. Somebody in the last class. It is filigree, so there's a bunch of holes. <laughs> so, I'm sorry. You want your phone? <laughs> I'm leaving it on the table. And this piece is going to go over the top. So it's going to attach to these parts of the leaf where it's kind of the same U shape. You're going to attach it like so. So I would just turn it over and glue the top pieces. This is hard to do when I'm holding my phone or my. Okay. Put it on the filigree and then attach it. Try and get it as straight as possible. I'm not doing a great job today. And as, a, as you can see, most of the wire is now covered by the moon, so you're not going to have it showing as much. You have a little bit. What um, I suggested in the uh, last class is if you want to, a lot of my tiaras will have um, just beads going along the bottom. And so you can do that to cover any wire that you don't want showing. You, you'll see a little bit of wire po poking through the different pieces, but it's, it's one way to cover the bottom is to just add something, another detail down below.
rather it's you, you can. You see, I didn't get my leaf just perfectly straight, but it's it's just sticking up. So that's where your stone is going to go is right on there. Okay, so I'm sorry. I'm, I'm no trying problem. to hit the struggle bus. Am I attaching this over top of the branches or in between them? Yeah, you want to use the branches as a base for it. So you're attaching the moon to the branches. Okay. Because it has that same kind of U shape. Um, of the branches. So this is going to attach. I attached it here, 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 and here, just in these four spots. Um, and then that way it just, you, you've got this nice front piece. You can kind of see my glue. I did it's a little bit coming through that. I've got glue everywhere. <laughs> That's the problem with hot glue. And then finally, we're going to stick this, whatever jewel you have onto the to leaf so that it sticks through like that. Um, like I said, you wanna push the leaf a little bit farther back so that it kind of has a good spot. And then I'm just gonna glue on this thing. I've got all shapes and stuff for you guys. And then add a little bit of glue to the back so it's more sturdy. Kind of through the filigree holds it really nicely in place because of the holes. Yeah, you know, the, the worst time to actually get a new hot glue gun is when you're about to demo something because then <laughs> you never know how well it's going to work. Um, but So you've got your stone, your moon, your branches, and that was the basic of the tiara there. That's why I had that much I like go grab. These pieces I sent to people. One second. So I have about eight tiaras on display in the craft room, and then the rest of them are in the cabinets because that's about all the space I have for <laughs> displaying these. <clears throat> so when it comes to all of these other pieces, um, I sent a bunch of different ones, big sizes, smaller sizes um, to you guys. And I, I know this one was one of the ones that I sent a lot out and I, I really like this piece. You can cut it in half. Um, let me grab stuff in the way. And this makes kind of an interesting, like you can make it up or you can make it behind. Um, you could add it in the front and kind of go over as well. Um, this piece is really, you know, if you wanted to make it taller and have some more filigree coming through the back. These are great pieces if you wanted a really nice height on it. You, I would, I, I mean, t my preference would be to kind of fold it down. This is, there you go. Fold it down so that it's not so long, but it would make a neat focal point on the top if you behind the moon. You can cut these pieces of filigree. Um, oh, I pulled the wrong tiara. One second, let me. 
So for example, that's the same filigree right here. Um, I just actually cut pieces so that I got this interesting shape and then wired them on like we did with the other pieces. But this, this is kind of just really up to you. I mean, you could have it behind, have it up. You could kind of have it with wings on the sides. Um, I think some people got butterflies and I really liked the shape of this. So you could have kind of a butterfly wing effect kind of coming through. I mean, if I can arrange these properly here or just on the sides. But this is kind of where you get to play and decide how you want your tiara finished. Um, but that's that was really, I really, I, I, the wings are my favorite pieces. <laughs> I wanna, I wanna add all sorts of wings to everything. I like I, I'm also a fan of the wings. Yes. <laughs> I like the wings coming through the sides. Wings are cool. Um, but like, but anything you have a different shape, like I, I would cut off their little antenna, but, but even this round shape would be cool. If I can get my scissors out here. Like my, my bad kid scissors, so I don't ruin nice, um, you know, sewing scissors or anything. <laughs> but you've got this shape, which is kind of a cool shape. And uh, you could put it kind of almost like this or on the sides. You could make these longer. You could stick it in the filigree. And then you had um, some small, um, uh, what do you call them? Small crystals as well. And this mm -hmm. could be attached to the moon or it could be attached onto the filigree kind of like in these spots. Um, but there was a come so they kind of matched the original stone that you had in the center. So at least I tried to get that. If I didn't have exactly the same color, sometimes I'd send you more than just two. Some people got two or four. It's kind of how I was feeling <laughs> at the time. But this these this filigree is is fun to play with. It's another um, Amazon find. They send you like. 20 different types of filigree in a package. And I, I think it was like seven or eight dollars. So you could kind of play with it. And you know, I, I do really like the filigree. So these are all this is this tiara itself is all different filigree. This, this is a different shape. And then you know you can use old jewelry pieces as well. Like this one is just a piece of costume jewelry that my daughter had sitting around that she broke. Um, and so I used that on, on this tiara. Some other pieces. So this is, of course, my air tiara. This is another type of filigree, but it's been um, got that rainbow effect on it. This is more jewelry. This is UV resin that I actually made into crystals. Um, but this is just the kind of dyed crystal that you can get on most craft places. I, it, now even Michael's, you can buy the long strings of it. And sometimes they have really good sales. I know recently they had a sale of like $3 strands because I think they're overpriced most of the time, <laughs> but, but the $3 strands kind of made it worth it to play with. Um, of course, pendants work as well. So this is a pendant that I bought on Etsy. And these are also pendants. And they are wired and glued as well, just kind of like what we just recently did. OK, what's that one called? Because it looks very much like Phoenixy to me. Yeah, a lot of people said Phoenix. This was just another fire. Uh, this was what I did after the snowstorm we had in Texas. I needed some heat in my life. <laughs> so, <laughs> so this was my answer to that. But yeah, it's, it's some people have mentioned that look very like Phoenix because of the, the flames coming off of the red um, in the center. It's definitely got that feel. 
Um, another filigree, but this is filigree and pendants as well. This is the peacock tiara. So there's um, a pendant on the front. This some people might have gotten this peacock filigree in the kit. It's it's a really cool piece and. I like it because you could use it just as it is, or you could cut off these pieces of the peacock feathers. Um, I think it's a cool piece as well. And then these are also pendants with just the crystals glued on. And then of course, I think this is one of the um, most popular <laughs> ones that I put out it, and not only because of the Labradorite on it, but also just the shape of it. This was the earth tiara. And uh, these leaves are just plastic leaves that I've painted um, and then wrapped around the edge. Another bead, it's just a bead with a hole at the, at the bottom. Um, chandelier pieces, of course, for um, which are wired on. And then these are pendants as well. This is a cool ivy pendant and then filigree and then another pendant. So I tend to layer a lot of different pieces together to make them, gives it just more height. Like if I had just left this, it, it wouldn't feel complete. Like I wanted these extra kind of sp spire, um, spires on here. So I needed one in the center too. So I just, I put them, you can see there's a layer on the back and then there's the layer of the filigree and then there's the layer of the pendant on the bottom too. And you can wire these. If I was selling a lot of tiaras, I would be wiring them and then using a five minute epoxy to glue them. Um, if I'm just showing them for consolation, they tend to be um, just hot glue because I usually only just showing it once or twice and not wearing them. But the hot glue, I mean, if you have the filigree, it definitely, this one's pretty stable. It's not gonna go anywhere, especially if it's all wired around the edges as well. Does anybody have any questions? How are we doing? I don't know if it's the quality of my glue, but nothing's sticking. Oh no. Yeah. I, I can't get, I'm, I'm going through and literally wiring everything together because my glue is acting up as well. Yeah, that's what I'm, that's what <laughs> I'm going to do. Hot, uh, a, like a high temp or a low temp glue? Um, it's supposed to be high temp, hmm. but I don't know. I don't know what the problem is. And my leaf disappeared. Oh, no. Yeah, so I'm using the, the other little filigree piece instead, yeah. so... Uh, mine's going to look a little different, but that's okay. That's the, but that's, that's the fun part. Yeah. So yeah, I, a cat knocked it over and, uh, I can't find it. <laughs> <laughs> that's the joy of crafting with cats. Yeah. Yes. Mine's playing in a box right now. So <laughs> oh, they did that too. They did that too. <laughs> but yeah, I'm having the same problem. So I am literally just here hand tying everything together with all this extra wire. So right. right. Yeah, you so should I have enough wires. Wire. So yeah. Oh yeah. There's plenty of wire. It's working out perfect. <laughs> so yeah, you could, you could go through the holes in the filigree and just kind of twist tie it on the back. Um, That's exactly what I'm doing. Yeah. Yep. And that works as well. And it, it's going to be pretty stable especially if you're going to wear it. Somebody asked me last class, how would I wear these? Um, and I typically have, I mean, they're pretty simple to put on your head, right? I take, take off my other tiara. But um, to keep them on, I would just put two bobby pins on the side. Yeah. And that way it will, I can't, can't seem to get it straight on the camera. Um, and then that way it will stay pretty well. But these are so lightweight that you're not feeling like you have to, uh, you know, like put a bunch of pins in them. I know some of the regular tiaras, <laughs> you need a lot more to put them on um, typically. Yeah, the one I have on is a little bit heavy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, these are these are really light. And I, I mean, I tend to not do um, like this one I did last week. It's so light that I really don't need it, it doesn't push into the sides of my head with these headbands and I don't really need um, pins. The, sometimes the headbands though, when they stretch, it's a little better, 
So like I just, you know, I finished this, this one, which is the one I showed last week, I guess. The, yeah, last week, not this week, last week, um, which is all branches from, <laughs> from the yard. And putting this one on is a little harder because you kind of need to get it on the sides um, and probably bobby pin it so that it stays straight, which like I said, I don't, I'm not very good at it when it's on the Zoom. But even this with all of the decoration on it is very lightweight. It's those base metal type tiaras that seem to be really heavy that cause a little bit more problems. And yes, even if you're watching, I hope it's helpful and you <laughs> you, you can watch again. Well, like I said, I'll rec I'm recording this so we can uh, you can watch it again and hopefully send me a TR. Oh, look, very nice, Diana. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> send me a picture of your tiaras because I, I think we got a lot of great um, comments last week when I showed the tiaras from um, last week's class. And I, I just love the fact that everybody comes up with something just slightly different. Um, because, you know, I, somebody actually used a button that they had instead of the jewel that I sent. Or, you know, if you have some filigree or wire or whatever to add to these tiaras, I think it's really cool when you come up with your own style. So. Does anybody have Sarah, any thank you very much for doing this. This was yes, a lot of fun. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> so, I, nice to see all of you. And I will see you on Constellation, but I'm going to go, go ahead and go now. Okay, so, thank you, Diana. Bye. Thank you. Bye. bye. Yeah, Sarah, this is super cool. Like, Oh, yeah, this is, this is really neat. I'm going to have to have my wire. I cut it and it went flying. So <laughs> I'm going to have to find where my husband has the wire hidden. So. <laughs> But if we you, have a bunch. Yeah, I, I figured like like I um one of the probably one of the reasons is this is so easy to do this for me is I do have my craft board of stuff. And so when I'm coming up with ideas, I will just tend to lay things on my table and like, okay, how is this gonna be put together and, and kind of go from there. Um like I said last week it was the wings and I saw the wings and I was like, I have to do a TR with the wings or or, you know, I'm like, oh, I need something that's fire or whatever I'm feeling that week is kind of how the TR has come about. Um, so it's it's really, it's all about experimentation and just play, which. Yeah, we have a bunch of beads and wire and stuff because we will buy these base, you know, cat half masks. Yeah. And then mm -hmm. um, we'll spray them black as a base and then do stuff on top of them. And we've done several of those actually a friend of ours does some stuff that she puts out on tiktok and she did videos with it yeah because she liked it so much so we've got glass beads and wire and everything yeah. so i'm probably just going to end up adding to this when i can ask him when he where he put everything <laughs> and then i'll i'll send you pictures yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, I, um, I've been seeing those half masks and I know, um, like even when I had one of the sponsors who does the masks, um, I really, I've been, I've been trying to avoid adding yet another style <laughs> of stuff to <in> my tiaras, <laughs> but they're really cool. And, and I, I think you got, can do a lot of things to make them unique. Um, so yeah, I, I, it's a fun, it's a fun thing. Okay, we're, we're coming together. Okay, good. Oh yeah, it looks good. Looks good. See? Slowly but surely, we're getting there. <laughs> I did get one of your peacock things though. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, that's that's cool. See, that's what I mean. It's got that nice shape on the front it of it. It does, and it sits behind there really nice. I had to wire it though, because it didn't want to stay with the glue. Yeah. And that's and when I lost the rest of my wires. <laughs> <laughs> Um, one other little tip is when you do wire um, on the back, if your wire ends up on the back, final, I would make sure it kind of faces upward and kind of closer to the top so that it doesn't get stuck in your hair um, or poke you in the head. <laughs> and you could stick a little bit of glue or something on top of it so that it doesn't poke. Um, but I, I tend to try and keep it really tight and close so that it doesn't um, hit your head. 
That's, that's yeah, good. yeah, I can see you don't really want that to bite you. No. <laughs> My goodness, I'm loving this. <laughs> <laughs> geeking out over here y'all <laughs> that's good I, i'm glad i'm glad to hear it it's uh like yeah, I said, i'm gonna go and spelunk in our crafting closet and see if i can find stuff so i will post pictures later all right yeah thank you stephanie you're welcome goodness this is so fun okay sorry <laughs> I, for my next couple of classes, I will probably do this same tiara, but we'll mix it up after a few. Um, I know you guys know what we're what, what I'm doing. Next time, I think I'll announce it probably a couple of days before I open it up since these sold out so quickly. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I had I saw trouble, it like, and I think you were really shocked because you were like, "I'm thinking about doing this," and we just like made the post yes. explode. <laughs> I know. And I was just thinking as I'm looking at this, I'm like, oh, bless her heart. She had no idea how much we love her. <laughs> no, I was, I was, I was like, oh, it, it'll fill up, but I didn't think it would fill up that quickly. So, so yes, I could probably do a TR workshop for the next week and still have for for at least a month or two. <laughs> Yeah, that day you kept tagging me. I, I did another one and I would be like, oh no, it's already full. <laughs> Here's another one and it's full. And it's full. <laughs> but I finally got in. <laughs> and then Snowmageddon hit us. Yes. And then yeah. Snowmageddon. That's right. Did you, did you end up without power for a lot of the time? Because yes. I was out for, well, I had rolling blackouts for two days. Yeah, we were out for four days completely and then uh, two well a day and a half before that so we kind of started before everybody mm -hmm. and went out for a day and a half mm -hmm. and then we got it back and it was great because before everybody went out we went to the store and got stuff and then the big long four day one happened so i we had everything already but yeah it was it was intense i mean like, yeah. the end of that of course was like Oh, now you're gonna lose water, and now you're <laughs> you're gonna lose right. gas. And there's like, oh my gosh, I I don't think I can handle it if it's all of it out. Um, yeah, it, it it was crazy in in our part of Texas. Like, I had rolling blackouts, but the people on the other side of the neighborhood had nothing. Yeah, that's crazy. You know, and it was just because we have different power companies. I'm on a co-op, and mm. since they're accountable to us, they just did rolling blackouts. Mm -hmm. uh, and we had constant communication, but right. you know, my friends on the other side, they had nothing. They had no communication. They yep. didn't know what was going on. It was terrible. Yes, it was not. It was not fun. It, it, the, the, we have, I have two small children, and oh. I think the worst part of it was not having power and then them losing every thing that they knew how to entertain themselves. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> So, so yeah, we were like, okay, we'll go read a book or go do this or, you know, oh, it's dark. You're going to bed now. Um, right. But it was, it was definitely oh. stressful. You had to pull one of those back in my day. We used to, <laughs> yeah, we used to read books and we liked it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Board, we do have board games and they played those for a while, but it was more like the kids wanted me to entertain them. And I'm like, oh, yeah. you, you got to figure this out. I got, I'm trying to make sure we're like, bed and <laughs> yeah so they went well yeah I felt really bad um being a reptile mommy I'm in a bunch oh. of reptile groups on Facebook and there are so many people who lost their reptiles over that oh. and it was just heartbreaking because yeah they just couldn't survive without their heat and lights for that long yeah yeah I I, I can imagine because I used to have a iguana and there's no way and I know yeah. I saw people with frozen fish tanks. And yeah, I saw that too. That was the craziest <laughs> thing I've ever seen. Crazy. I didn't even know that that could happen in Texas. And I <laughs> lived there. That's <laughs> right. Big, big, big fish tanks too. I mean, those were like. <laughs> yeah, they weren't like little five gallon tanks. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So does anybody have, have any more questions? Are we good? How are we doing? I think I'm just going to have to get more glue, like a different type of glue or something. Um, it's supposed to be high temp, but I don't think it is. 
Uh, yeah, I didn't specify. Yes, so I like I said. I think I moved it. Where is it? Um, I use like a five minute epoxy or E6000 works. Okay. Um, so if you have any of that, it's just, it, it's easier to show demos with hot glue because it dries Absolutely. so quickly. Yeah. yeah. And I've worked with hot glue before. This just is not good glue. Yeah, super glue would work too, Veronica. It's, um, you just have to be really careful of not gluing yourself to it since there's so many holes in the, in the filigree. Right. <laughs> um, but I, yeah, the gel would probably work better than just like the runny um, super glue as well. I know people use Gorilla Glue, but um, <laughs> I have not really had as much luck with that. It, it, kind of some of it expands weird to me, so I, I've never really gotten into it. Um, Oh my goodness, I added my, my wingy things on top. Oh, see, that, that looks beautiful. great. Yeah, that looks oh, awesome. Beautiful. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm geeking out. I know I'm the one doing it, but I would never have done this on my own. So oh. I'm so <laughs> grateful to you because I just wouldn't have done it. <laughs> I, I'm thinking about also just offering the kits to people if they want to watch the videos on YouTube um, and make their own without being in a class because I know there are some people that just are limited in terms of time or when they want to do it um, but I, I can also uh, send out an email of some of the places that I get the materials that I use um, that would be awesome yes because there is definitely one shop on Etsy that I like a lot for pendants and so I buy a lot of their materials um, and they're a lot, they're very nicely made and I tend to uh, use them a lot. I, when I do have pendants, sometimes I will cut off the bottoms or I'll drill holes with my Dremel to make it easier to wire on. Um, but other than that, I typically just use what I have available. Um, yeah. Yeah, so and I'd then like, when are you going to start listing yours for sale? Because <laughs> we all want them. Yeah. Um, I, I'll probably, I, I have to figure out. So I am a guest of honor at Boscone next year, which is in February. Um, and so they want me to do a tiara display for them. And so they're oh, going to wow. have stories about the tiaras um, and probably... 20 of the tiaras on display so I have to figure out which ones I want to keep for that um, and then I will I will start listing these because like I said I have a lot of them sitting here <laughs> around if I if I do I have um, sold a few on at different virtual conventions but none recently so yours are just some of my favorite that I've ever seen so <laughs> thank you I, I, I think I do think they're quite different than the ones that you would be able to buy in the stores. So it makes them oh for sure. Kind of unique. So oh my goodness, I can't decide if I want to add more or not. <laughs> I have that great debate of like how much do you want to add? Okay, wait a minute. Let's 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 put on a custom tiara instead of a store bought tiara now. <laughs> As I just rip all my hair out of my head. Yeah, see, that's it. <laughs> even store bought ones. You have to be careful. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I feel like a pretty princess. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my great. goodness. It's so fun. <laughs> <laughs> Looks awesome. Yay. I'm just debating if I want to add more or not. <laughs> Oh, yay. I really love this. Okay. Oh, Veronica, yeah, you're Thank talking you so about much. this one. This, this tiara, right? This bronze. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That. Yeah. Yeah, I like That's this one. one of this my favorites. One of my favorites, too. Oh, yes. Any of the ones with the greens just speak to me. I know. Yeah, I've got these. Right. Like I said, mm -hmm. these ones also, this... Um, What's it called? The Melicola stone, which is like the blues, almost the turquoise with the green in them. Mm -hmm. I, I really like these. I've been buying a lot of these stones from people. And then this, this Jasper 
these like this jasper with the green this i got this just at michael's and they have these big long um pieces in them i thought they're really cool it's kind of center oh, this is a moonstone of course yeah well i need I to know. go play at michael's then wow yeah I, and i do think this week they have a deal on the the um this the street the strong strong beads so there's some really cool ones. They've got a lot of like natural stones now and oh. you could buy them cheaper probably from a, like a, you know, jewel bead shop sometimes, right. but, but I, I don't need that many of them. <laughs> I have a huge storage of them. And so like getting a small strand of, you know, five or six pieces is better for me than trying to buy like, you know, 50. <laughs> Right. So, unless I'm teaching a class and then <laughs> I need 50 of them. But, then you need all the things. Right, right. But yeah, these these purple, so they've got these like kind of cool. Oh. And they're all they're all um they have holes in them so you can just wire them on the bottom. But these really make kind of cool pieces. So Yes. Oh. Yeah, I like the purple a lot. Obviously, I bought all the strings. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Well, purple's my favorite. So, I yeah, love it's nice. I mean, it, and it's just, it's got all these different colors in it, too. Um, so, like, I just started this one. This is a commission for somebody. They caught me at the right time to ask me for commissions because I don't usually <laughs> do them. But see, I was gonna, that purple. The magical word that I just heard there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, the purple on the back is really. Um, oh my goodness! Neat. So uh, yeah, this will probably have. Uh, she they were wanting kind of more um, Middle Eastern pieces, and so right. I'll probably find a nice filigree for this one too. I don't know why that made me think of the Empress and the Never Ending Story. Oh yeah, it's a. <laughs> it just I was like the Empress. I don't know where that came from, but that's that's what I'm thinking of. Yeah, it's that kind of um, shape, I think. Yeah, too. I think it's a cool piece. I'm almost tempted to just keep this, <laughs> but I can't. I can't. I have to. I have to uh, not keep all of the ones that I make. That would be the hardest part of doing commissions, I think, is you you create it and you're like, oh, but I want it. <laughs> I know. I want to keep this one. <laughs> exactly. I want to keep all. <laughs> yeah, I would struggle with that big time. Yeah. It's, I try. Um, East. Wait a minute. See, I'm trying to look at you and then I can't see myself to see. <laughs> There you go. Neat. Ooh. I like that. Ooh, I think I'm digging it. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, I'm digging it. And then I probably need to stop because I'll just keep going. And then <laughs> <laughs> that would be my problem too. Is like, oh, and then what about this? And what about this? And That's what I'm, doing. I'm like, oh, and I could do this and I could do this. And then I'm like, stop and suddenly it has the kitchen sink on it and well, yeah. yeah that's what I was saying with these branches I started out and I had like eight of them on there and I'm like okay this is really cool looking but it seems like almost a waste of having so many branches that I could use on multiple tiaras and so I was like all right let's cut it out let's just try two and I liked the look so much that I was like all right good because yes every time I'm like okay oh, what can I add what can I add can I add some more oh can I do this differently or so yeah, it's it's hard to stop. <laughs> yeah. All but right. now that Go ahead. starting this, now it's like, oh, okay, but that means that now like we have an idea and so all the ideas can now become new tiaras. That's right. That's probably why I keep making them too, as I try and think, oh, I could use that one on the next tiara or I can <laughs> can change it to the the next one. Um, so they don't get too elaborate, but yes, I, I do do commissions every once in a while. Um, and I tell people they range usually from 40 to $80, depending on the, how elaborate and what stones you're asking me to use. Cause I think you're lowballing yourself, yes, but okay. So. I have done one that was $150, but that one was like a lot of Swarovski crystals. <laughs> And so it's like, uh, yeah, so it, it depends on, it depends on what you have, but 
but yeah, it depends on how long it takes me to make them too. Some of them are pretty quick and some of them are longer. Right. Oh, I'm so excited. Now I just want to go everywhere wearing my tiara. <laughs> yeah, Tell me a great. wander around town in a tiara. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, I, I'm in yeah. DC, so yeah. way weirder things out here. <laughs> Well, you should send me a picture, but also you should post it on Constellation on, yes. Yes. on the post. Absolutely, I will be posting Ooh. it because I am so excited about this. Yes, it's <laughs> great. It was way wow. too much fun. And there's all these leftover pieces to make another one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Veronica, I've used some uh, resin pieces and I think it's really a cool um, centerpiece to tiaras. I, I, I really like the resin look of some of them too. I'm thinking I need to make like some goodwill trips to find some really cool <laughs> costume <jewelry. laughs> Oh yeah, good idea. Yep, there's definitely some stuff that's really easy to take apart that you could use. Just seems like a fun way to just grab a bunch of cool stuff. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I used to be um, I'll say semi-professional belly dancer. So I've got some pieces that. Oh yeah. I yeah. think I pick apart. There you go. That would be cool. Yeah, because we we would go by just like um, you know we go to a Sam Moon, which has like a lot of costume pieces, and we would just buy them and pick apart things. And so I don't do that anymore. I don't belly dance anymore. But I could go through some of that stuff and find some fun things yeah I see everybody else's now um I'm slow so <laughs> <laughs> I what so what I figured out would work is if I just hold it together while it's gluing so I am behind and no I'm you're fine I'm just I want to get inspired by everyone <laughs> right so I'm still holding my moon <laughs> on <laughs> but I'm making it work which is the important thing. I think the only thing I want to do to it is go oh, get my that's nice. Deborah's is oh I like the moon up there. That's cool. Yeah. Ooh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ooh, oh oh my gosh that looks so beautiful Deborah. I love that. That's fantastic. Yeah that's cool. Oh <laughs> I'm gonna um use a jump ring and something to dangle because yeah, there's yeah. a hole right in the middle of the moon yes. so it'll have a little movement yeah that'll be cool and i think i might wrap the uh base with silk ribbon mm -hmm. over the bottom and yeah. then i can put loops on it to pin it to my hair yeah that'd be good yeah i know the uh actual tiaras they usually have a bar that goes underneath so that you can wrap it so that it's comfortable to wear since it's not just the the bare me metal but the ones that you buy like on Amazon and things, they don't, they, some of them do, some of them have it, but most of them are just the blank metal. How are you doing, Pat? Are you doing, are you almost done? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I know the feeling. <laughs> ah, okay. All right, well, I'm going to, uh, I mean, if there's no more questions, are we, are we good? We have any questions before I stop recording and hang up the phone? <laughs> <laughs> no. It was just so much fun. Thank you. Honestly. Yes, thank you. Awesome. I look forward to doing it again the next time you have availability because <laughs> if nothing else, like it just, it makes you take the time to stop and do something. And I think in the craziness that is the world right now, us taking time to get together and just make something pretty is exactly what we needed in life. So exactly. thank you, Pat. Yeah, crafting, no, no with, crafting with people is always fun. You yeah, know, yeah. Getting, getting to meet new people and engage in creative activity. This was a lot of fun. This was what I needed. Thank you. Oh, no yeah. problem. I'm, I'm I can't wait to see them all. I, I, the, the pieces that I've seen are amazing and I'm glad. I have big stuff now. I we, all need, we all need tiaras in our lives, I think. We yeah. didn't yeah. realize how much until this pandemic <laughs> happened. <laughs> I'm 
we need all the things. Yeah, so. that's right. All the pretty things. That's all right. the pretty. Well, um, thank you, Sarah. This was yes. you are amazing and very much appreciated. Yes, thank you. All right, we'll see you guys on Constellation. Bye. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> bye. Stop share.